Hello this time, let's make a simple bouncing ball example using the collision module in Niagara. First, create a materia. To freely change the color of the ball through Niagara, create a particle color and connect it to the base color. While pressing 1 on the keyboard, click the left mouse button to create a constant node that gives only one value. Connect this node to roughness and set the roughness of the surface. Roughness is closer to 0 for a smoother texture and closer to 1 for a matte texture. After creating the material, let's make an emitter using Sphere Mesh. Create a Niagara emitter in FX. Since we will create particles using mesh, we will delete the sprite renderer and create a mesh renderer. Put the provided sphere mesh into meshes of mesh renderer. To add a material to the mesh, check enable material overrides and put the material you just created into override materials. To directly manipulate the repetition of particles, change the life cycle mode of the emitter state to self and change the loop behavior to once to make the particles appear only once. Create a spawn burst instantaneous to make the particles appear at once. Then in spawn count, enter the desired number of particles. Create add velocity to make the ball bounce upwards. At this time, a warning message will appear, which will disappear if you create solve forces in velocity. Go back to add velocity and set the velocity value as shown in the video using a random range vector to give the effect of bouncing the ball in all directions. Next, to set the lifetime of the particles to be random, in initialize particles, change the lifetime mode to random and enter the desired range of values. And let's randomly adjust the particle size as much as you want. Since it is a particle using mesh, change the mesh scale mode to random uniform in mesh attributes and enter the desired range of values. Create a color to change the color. Click random range linear color to express various colors and click random range linear color at the minimum and maximum to add more diverse colors. In this way, you can input four colors, just input the desired color value. Create a sprite rotation rate to give the balls a sense of rotation while bouncing. And select random range float and set the maximum value to 360 to make them rotate randomly. Acceleration force is created to give the effect that the balls fall down due to gravity. Acceleration force allows particles to accelerate in the desired direction. Here we'll give these axis a negative value axis a negative value Thank you.